frankly speaking, uh, rather very honestly speaking, uh, let me answer your question this way. Just because you do something uh, differently or you do something simply doesn't mean that you're doing it wrongly. When it comes to understanding youth sociologies today, we get certain things that must be brought forth, that must be talked now. Especially not of the millennials or I'm not talking about the generation Y, particularly about the generation Z. Who are these people? The most, you know, tech-savvy people or tech-savvy generation who are good at computers, who are good at internet and who are good at social media. But at times we get to see this generation into a massive, I must say, identity and personality crisis. Because they have rather, you know, wrong perceptions about the other generations before them that maybe these people are not as smart as us. If we go to archaeological excavations, we get to find some surprising you know, facts and the ancient traces where we found that people have been you know, highly intelligent. Even the generations which passed thousands of generation, years ago doesn't mean that you can you know, run a smartphone nicely or you can run a tab nicely or you know something about you know, Google Docs and all that. You know everything and it makes you superior to all other generations or you are the smartest generation on the planet. No, these are just, you know, perceptions, assumptions about others. There may be people, and I know academics, who are, you know, very intelligent people and quite scholarly who don't know how to run social media and there are people who don't know how to, you know, work on the computer. But they have been writing I must say magnum opsis. The books which are highly cited today. It is not that you should first know how to run a social media account and that, that makes you most smart generation on the planet. And we may differ in the methods of working. Your method may be one, mine will be simple, different, slow, but that doesn't make, you know, other generations other than Z, that doesn't make them dumb and duffers. And it's not that, you know, social media or the modern gadgets, technical technicalities, tools have evolved so unprecedentedly and so massively now. We have seen, you know, history of thousands of years where there have been intelligent generations, intelligent people. Therefore, clear your misconceptions today and come out of the shackles of, rather, I must say, chains of identity and personality crisis. You may know how to handle a gadget well and uh, you know, the generation be generations before you may not. But that doesn't define you as intelligent and reduce them to duffers. No. These are just assumptions. And there was an age when there was, was no science or then there was an age when there was no technology. And we are marching ahead. We may see something post-science, something post-technology where measurements of intelligence may be different. So not to be reductionist or technologically reductionist or you know, media reductionist, we will have to judge people on the basis of their past experiences, on the basis of the time spent in a particular job, in a particular assignment. And not because of their ability to run modern gadgets or smartphones or tools or computer tools. 
these do- doesn't or hardly define a person as intelligent or dumb and start respecting other generations particularly i am telling to the generation z that simply you know how to run a tab doesn't mean that you are next to aliens now and everyone else is dumb and duffer i hope you got the message thank you